Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope that you people are doing good. And your preparation is now with the right. Um, your preparation now with the right direction. Candidates, can you please reply me about the clarity of the voice? Then I'm going to start my session formally. Can you all please share me about the clarity of my voice? Are you people hearing my voice? Can you please reply me on the chat box? Mashallah, mashallah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair. I hope students that uh, these sessions um, that's going on and organized by the ACCA management with respect to the Tabani School of Accountancy with the collaboration of the Tabani School of Accountancy, the only platinum status college in Pakistan and the South region. So I hope that you people are getting benefit from this session. Uh, in fact, these valuable session. <clears throat> so you must have to very much thankful to uh, ACCA body, ACCA Pakistan and Tabani School of Accountancy as well. <clears throat> because these sessions or uh, these sessions are organized by ACC body, but with the collaboration of uh, the platinum uh, status college and I belong to the college that's called Tabani School of Accountancy. <clears throat> okay, candidates. So now it's time for the day three. What we have done a quick review respect to the day one day two. We discussed day one. Uh, actually, the day one was about the eye opening for you people. That's what is the right direction towards the preparation of the uh, SBR number one. So we discussed a lot of things at day one with the uh, multi diversified way and tried to identify the right path towards the success. With the practice question and the latest exam question as well. Then day two we discussed how to handle that uh, question two of section A specifically with respect to with respect to the ethics, but uh, the question is not exactly 100% related to ethics, uh, but incorporate other accounting standards as well. <coughs> Account other accounting standards as well or other areas of the syllabus as well. Yesterday we discussed the ethical aspect. Ethical aspects includes accounting issues, non-accounting issues, performance measurement related, and connect with the matters with the ethics. Whatever the direction I have provided to you the last day, now it's your responsibility to uh, practice the questions. Um, first of all, over you, over you, your regular syllabus area of the ethics, and then based on my guideline it's your responsibility to attempt all past paper exams seven past paper exams plus two specimen then you will be in a position um, to get assurance about the exams <clears throat> about the recordings about the recordings uh, acc pakistan just shared the youtube channel so you can um get the recording of day one and day two from the youtube channel of acca of youtube channel of acca so that's a key point now now candidates now candidates it's time to start the day three what is the particular agenda about the day three Inshallah, may Allah willing, and uh, I will deliver today's session in a manner uh, with the day three agenda.
that students face a uh, lot of issues related to the section B questions. Related to section B questions. So today's agenda is about to get the right direction to handle the section B questions. This is today's agenda. The very important thing that I discussed already at day one with my PowerPoint slides that section B that's 25 marks. Two questions. Is equal to 50 marks. And you must have to know that. That this part of the syllabus, it's totally. Unpredictable. Examiner examine. Examiner examine anywhere. From the syllabus. Except. A specific issue of ethics. Examiner can examine anything. Based on the past paper analysis analysis based on past paper. We observe that. <clears throat> the examiner examined the accounting standards and do remember accounting standard anywhere, anywhere, including group accounts. Anywhere, including group accounts. Do remember that examiner can also examine about the group accounts matter here. <clears throat> like I for a stand issue, like I 27 issue, like I for a three business combination matters, change in global structure, anything. When I inshallah on tomorrow and after tomorrow, the next two days, I will discuss the group accounts and more uh, and more other things where I will uh, provide you the guideline that how to handle the group accounts, but don't develop your mindset that group accounts only examine at section A question one group accounts matter can also examine other part of the syllabus and it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So number one first thing section B 25 mark to multiply by two anywhere accounting standard anywhere. So avoid this misconception that. Uh, that group accounts only examine at section A question one. The first thing so including group accounts number two one more misconception you people normally focus only focus major focus with majority majority time with extensive standards Or you can say most common, most common accounting standards. Most common means most recent exam accounting standards matter. No, I must say that. You have to avoid selective studies. What I say to you since last two days, I've been saying that focus. You have a good enough knowledge of entire syllabus. Good enough knowledge of entire syllabus and then apply these knowledge with the past paper and that knowledge application to the past paper is equal to your experience. And go for the examination with that experience. Inshallah, you will qualify the exam. That is the right way. So avoid. I must say avoid to folk to only. Focus with majority majority. <clears throat> only to focus. 
majority time with extensive standard or most common accounting standard rather than good enough knowledge with all accounting standards that's the key point number c accounting standard whenever whenever you attempt any question make sure that you have already revised the particular accounting standard which you are feeling that this is the part of the question so you have good revision of your regular studies of all topic including accounting standard and this all things we will inshallah prove especially these b and c point with our today's practice session as well moreover at section b there is an observation that examiner also examine the performance measurement aspects performance measurement <clears throat> number 1 what is the scope of performance measurement of performance measurement with sbr what is the scope i must say that this is what the scope of performance measurement this is what the scope make sure that you have covered all these areas of the performance measurement with your regular studies it's not possible that with this p2p session we uh, discuss all these component of the performance measurement i strongly suggest you must have to make a screenshot of this particular uh, checklist because i just forgot to incorporate this uh, particular um, checklist with the date three document but i will share you this document don't worry you have to make sure that you have already covered all these aspects for example number one performance measurement you have a good knowledge of ratios analysis but this knowledge is not about knowledge it's not about f7 examiner already mentioned that that we will not examine ratios and analysis like f7 like f7 but how the ratios can examine <clears throat> we will discuss that point today moreover eps is 33 will not examine here specifically examiner mentioned that the diluted eps is not the part but this examiner can examine that how the particular scenario for example um, if it, um, directors that de deliberately manipulate the accounts how its impact to the earning per share moreover the cash flows and the analysis analysis of the cash flows moreover impact of accounting policies and estimates this is a theoretical aspect for example what i must say that sometimes sometimes accounting standard give the choice for the accounting policy for example cost model and revaluation model in investment property in the property plan equipment it's an example but think about investor perspective one industry two companies you are investor you are analyzing both financial statement to make a decision to buy shares anyone 
same industry, two companies, company A, company B. You are investor. So for example, one of the company using the property plan equipment with cost model, with consistency, everything is right. A com company A, cost model of the property plan equipment. Company B, revaluation model. But the investor now analyzing the situation, both are right. But the result are not like with like to match. That is the issue with respect to the policies. That's not the issue when accounting standard says one thing, do this. For example, IFRS 9, investment in shares, adds initial recognition. You have to decide fair value PNL, fair value OCI with certain conditions. <clears throat> and same case for estimates. Estimates is a very extensive term. It's very vague. A lot of models exist for the estimations. Different uh, information that has impacts on the working of the estimates. So that's a key point. Same for the working of estimates. You have a good enough knowledge for this particular topic. Number three, the APMs. Alternative performance measurement tool. I'm not pros promising you, but if some spare time I have or some spare time available for this P2P, then I will discuss a little part about that APM, but it's not the promise. So you have to cover this topic. Non-financial majors, non-financial performance major like F5 or these things. Non-financial reporting tools, ethical, environmental, social factors, sustainable reporting, integrated reporting. So you must have to make a good command of this. And the IFRS 8 segment reporting. So make a checklist that you have a good command. You have a good enough knowledge of this particular area of the syllabus. I strongly suggest with your regular studies, either from your, uh, from uh, if you are getting the tuitions from any institute, or if you are, uh, or either you are self, self a student, depends on you. At least spend to get a good knowledge, two to three hours. Spend two to three hours to get a knowledge about this. For example, read your study text, either BPP or Kia plan, or read the notes of your tutor about this particular area and get a good enough knowledge and then practice the past paper accordingly. Practice the past paper accordingly. This is what the right direction to handle the performance measurement. So this is what called the honesty rather than just pick the performance measurement areas from the past papers. This is not the honest way. The honest way is that spend the time to get the good enough knowledge, either the notes or either the book, study text, and then practice with the uh, past paper accordingly and then, then go for the exam. This is the right direction. Are you getting the point? Can you please reply me? <clears throat> Another another point, the conceptual framework. The conceptual framework. Students, the term conceptual framework and the current issues, examiner can also examine and observation is that already examined with that section B part. Sometimes conceptual framework already examined with that section A question one part as well. But examiner uh, al uh, already uh, made a question with respect to the section B as well. So conceptual framework and current issues. But this two part we will discuss uh, about the direction on inshallah tomorrow and day after tomorrow. Not to worry that that is the point. Moreover, now we can start a particular uh, working with this aspect. That's how to handle the section B two questions. So our uh, agenda is that we will discuss the things in this manner. So I hope that you have developed your mindset that what's the today's agenda and this agenda will definitely reflect to the uh, next two days as well with conceptual framework and current issues. Now, what's the action point 
what the action points are. Action points. Only one. <laughs> Only one action point. Let's take. Let's start with pass exam questions and apply all above things with the pass exam questions. You people already have the document. You people already have the document I have shared with you. There are three questions in this document. It depends on the time. That's how much available we have the time. That's uh, how much uh, the questions we can uh, work out accordingly. The questions about March 20 question. Number one, we will discuss it accordingly. How to handle this matter. Another question it's a. Another March 20 question do course two questions of the March 20. And. One very important question of the March 21. March and June 21 call out. Inshallah call out question. We will work out with the exam. We will also discuss uh, with the examiner report. This is what the examiner report. So whatever I say to you that we will discuss is accordingly examiner report. Now come on. Let's start with. The question a particular question. And do remember that we are practicing the question to determine the right direction for the preparation. Whatever the direction I'm providing you now after the P2P sessions, you have to uh, use that direction in a manner by next two two weeks or two and a half weeks remaining two and or two and a half weeks. Now this is a question. You people already have a document of this. I strongly suggest that this is the March 20 question uh, of Ecoma. So I'm giving you two minutes. Read this question once. You have two minutes. Read this question.
it's done from your side do reply Okay, now start. What is the right way or what is the right direction during the uh, revision time before the exam, for especially for the last two weeks? For example, you take up a question called a coma. Okay, listen carefully. And you have read that particular question. And with the requirement, it's specifically mentioned something about IS 37 and IS 90. So you have identified that yes, with this question. I have the knowledge required of the IS 37 and IS 90. So you must ask yourself. That do you have slavers enough knowledge? For example, about IS 37. For example, IS 37. What are the ingredients of IS 37? For example, provision definition. You have good enough command with respect to this. Provision. Definition. Constructive and legal constructive issue recognition criteria. I'm just supporting you. I'm not telling everything 37. Recognition criteria. Some examples related to uh, the provision should it be made or not? Onerous contract. Future operating losses. First of all, when you are working on it, you must have to ask yourself. I have a good knowledge about this, not in detail, whatever you have done during regular studies. Make a quick recap about this. Ask yourself. Restructuring. Restructuring provision. Contingent asset and liability. Contingent liability. Contingent asset. With virtual certain. With virtual certain. Assets all these matter. First of all, ask yourself. Same case for IS 19. For example, you are working with the IS 19 irrespectively that standard is extensive or less extensive. IS 19. You must have a good enough knowledge about what. What is DCP? Oh, sorry. For, for example, employee benefit includes short term benefits plus long term plus or retirement benefit plan and RBP retirement benefit plan plus.
termination benefit plus other long term and specifically retirement benefit plan that is and retirement benefit plan incorporate defined benefit and defined contribution plan and the extensive is defined benefit plan dbp defined benefit plan includes plan obligation plan asset plan obligation includes current service cost past service cost interest cost curtailment plan asset includes expected return contribution you have to recall this first benefit paid by the way benefit paid in incorporate at both mode matter benefit paid all these matter also incorporates actuarial gain or loss that is net remeasurement gain or loss and that is the part of oci asset ceiling adjustment asset ceiling adjustment number 1 whenever you are going to start the practice question i strongly suggest you have to recall the things do i have good enough knowledge not the perfection good enough knowledge about this and then involve with the question then involve with the question i know that this is the time taking activity but this time taken activity is equal to quality preparation if some some other someone having the practice strategy in another way like just practicing the question without any focusing that it's is he or she having a good enough knowledge believe me this is totally this is totally uh, putting the efforts in a wrong manner the direction towards the failure not just practicing only practicing the question without observation that the principal knowledge required that i have yes or no that's totally rubbish so that is the first thing now it's time for example you have reviewed a good enough knowledge about this a small standard 37 extensive ifrs 9 and even this will applicable for all even for ifrs 9 even for is 12 all the aspects okay let's start now we are working on it the directors of ecoma consider environmental social governance issue to be extremely important in a wide range of areas including new product development okay reputation <clears throat> reputation building <clears throat> i'm sorry extremely important in a wide range of area including new product development reputation building and overall corporate strategy the company is taking a proactive approach to managing sustainability and is actively seeking opportunity to invest in sustainable projects and embed them in their business practice this is what the background the company financial year and 30th september x5 there are two things examine here two things the first thing examiner examine
one moment. The first thing examiner examined. Yes. The first thing examiner examined here, that is this part. Eight marks question, eight marks related to sustainable reporting. Eight marks related to sustainable reporting. An examiner examined about that. Why sustainable information is important here? Eight marks out of 25, eight marks related to sustainable reporting, and this is very general on general requirement no relation specific to the case a general requirement eight marks so very first thing is that examiner examine examiner examine the question with accounting standard and the performance measurement combination. And in accounting the standard, the examiner examined multi standards matter. Multi means more than one standard. That is the point. So the another point. Part A is equal to sustainable reporting. Part B is equal to accounting issues. Sustainable reporting is equal to eight marks plus two marks professional. Accounting issues having 15 marks. 15 marks. But here accounting issues in this question accounting issues plus one more area of performance measurement that's called ratios. That means here account. They examine the things, the performance measurement with two components. Sustainable reporting and the ratios matter. You can read it here. You can read here. Six marks accounting issues. Seven marks accounting issues. And two marks. For this. Sustainable reporting. Investor perspective. You remember. I discussed the point the perspective was at my first session investor perspective is equal to eight marks and mention the clarity and quality of discussion having two marks so i must say the total total marks allocation in this manner total marks is equal to accounting standard or ifrs is equal to 8 plus 2 plus 2, 12. Sorry. I'm sorry. Performance measurement is equal to 8 plus 2, 8 sustainable reporting, 2 professional marks plus 2. That is 12 marks. And IS, IFRS, that is 6 plus 7 is equal to 
30. So two things important here for section B handling. Number one, the first thing is exam. But I rank the exam at second number. The first thing is preparation. Actually, I must say that I have to make preparation in a manner that that's that was the expectation of the examiner. I have to make my studies or preparation in a balanced manner. What you people normally do last 15, 20 days or even your regular studies. 80% of time or 85% time is spent on IFRS plus numbers only. But our preparation must be in a balanced manner. Balance means if I'm going to exam. So my exam is actually or my exam execution is actually reflection of my preparation. Do you agree that? That whatever I will do in the exam is actually the reflection of my preparation. So I must have to prepare and revise. In a manner what in a manner that's the examiner expectation. My answer, my time allocation must be balanced. In a way. That I have to spend. Out of 25 marks time. The 12 marks time that's almost 50% time for performance measurement and almost 50, 51, 52% time for IFRS. This is the right strategy. What we normally uh, practice we have, we just focus majority about the accounting standard matters and only with the numbers game. In the, with the examination, exam, in the examination hall, you have to attend the question with the marks management. Whatever examiner required, you have to reply accordingly. Candidates, can you please reply me? Is that clear what I'm uh, going to say that? Are you getting the point? Now it's your choice. Now it's your choice. Either attempt the section A, oh sorry, part A first or part B first. Okay, no shoes. Okay, no shoes. If Okay, no shoes. If you are you are saying that, sir, is the sequence important? I must have to attend part A first. No. No. No, no importance. If this is the question mark, if, if, if this is the question, and you are going to attempt with a system, how the examiner will, uh, uh, if, if you attempt the part B first, examiner has no concern. You have attempted the part B, okay, part B, part B, part B. Then you start part A. And if you say that, I don't want to make uh, an impression that I have attempted first part uh, B. No issue. You just pick Control X and Control V. You have to just copy paste part A first, then part B. No issue at all. No worries. From where you are confident, you have to start accordingly. This is what all exam points. Now, important point. Let's start with the part B. Let's start with the part B. Transactions. Ecoma is committed to plan, committed to plan to move its head office to a building which has an energy efficient green roof that acts as at a natural temperature controller. The move from current head office, which is leased, will take place at the company's air end 30th September expired. 
the new green roof building requires less maintenance than a conventional building and procedure uh, sorry and produces oxygen which is offset the comas company co2 emission okay this is what about the background director of ecoma believes that green roof building will save 2 million per annum over useful life of the building this is what the justification however over the next two years this and it anticipate that disruption of the move will cause the company to make a loss of 10 million per annum okay <clears throat> that with this move the company will cause them 10 million loss the company wishes to make a provision of 16 million this is important wishes and you people know that accounting it's never report uh, sorry transaction will never report on the base of wishes transaction only report on the basis of uh, accounting principles and the ias ifrs make a vision uh, wishes of 16 million comprise the loss to be incurred over the next two years saving created this work. what do you say what do you say everyone please be participative what is your knowledge about this wish if you will not answer me then how i will assess that what's the position of your suit what do you say is it possible not possible so you have just refer you your studies and then identify it's not possible meanwhile the company will have to vacate currently leased head office building at 30th september x5 the company lease has two years run at a rental of 600,000 per annum payable advance on 4th october each year okay the lease has two years to run rental per annum payable in advance for october each year what is this about if lease is cancelled full rental is payable on the cancellation head office permit subletting and ecoma has sublet the building for the one year from first october x5 a rental of 400000 per annum in advance ecoma estimates that 40 percent probability it will able to extend sublease for the same rental for the second year so about this matter i must say what one word you can use for this part of the area this this paragraph about the provision what one thing you can reply me This is about onerous contract. This is about onerous contract. That's good. That's good. Zubair. That's good. Onerous contract. So you require knowledge of the onerous contract. Plus, if we are making the provision, so provision is based on best reliable estimation. Best reliable estimation. So about the best reliable available information, you can use the probability aspect as well. Okay. The cost of moving the green land are estimated 1 million and cost of terminating the lease in two years are negligible. Cost of moving the green land building 1 million. Discount rate five percent pre-tax discount rate ten five percent. That is a point. And this is what all about this matter. What the examiner requirement discuss how sixteen million provision with the coma moved to new head office and the sublet of old head office should be accounted for IS 37. Examiner examined 
with six marks two things with six marks there are two things two things number one examiner particular mention how for 16 million 16 million means future operating losses and the onerous contract so that is about future operating losses and sublet the sublet means honor of contracts two things so you have to reply reply in the same manner at as examiner examined if we work out with this so the important point for the sake of a student i prepared one answer the very first thing planning you people know very well first thing is time management i am not repeating here and number 2 marks marks management is equal to 6 and 6 means 3 multiplied by 2 means two specific cases here the very first thing you required i 37 three things future loss that is two marks onerous contract about two marks and about the provision make or not that is two marks that is the point so first we have to start with the case pack pack means plan your answer then apply the knowledge and connect with the case apply knowledge connect with the case that's number one provision the first thing that is about you have to put your own knowledge that is a knowledge this is what the knowledge when to make the provision provision can be made when there is a present obligation about from the past even outflow economic resources is expected or probable and the obligation can be measured reliably three things important here three things important here and about future operating losses you have to mention provision should not be recognized for future operating losses as per i 37 this statement is correct till now if you add on that could depend on the time this italic future operating losses are not independent of entity future action do not normally stem from obligation the past even otherwise the first line is enough now the case this is about the case ecoma cannot make provision 16 million as the company cannot make a provision of the future operating losses these are specifically not allowed by the 37 not take account for saving of 2 million per annum at no obligation exists that's all that's all so first thing is about the knowledge you have to put candidates you can use the wording with the com with the combining of these two paragraphs as per i 37 provision should not be paid for uh future operating losses and same continuation after full stop ecoma cannot provision of 16 million here so make one statement and even not take take account of the 2 million per annum saving that's no obligation exist you can squeeze your answer 
but squeeze your answer. The condition situation is that the answer must be very much precise. This, this one, this, this highlighted point represent three marks. Make sure with three marks you have mentioned the basics of IS 37. Make sure you have incorporated the losses and connect with the case with your own wording. No matter it is. Are you getting the point? How you will write the answer? Number one, how you, you will revise the syllabus, then put up the knowledge or uh, put up the things accordingly. Muhammad Saifullah, you can ask the question with this platform. Where you write the, the question, you can definitely um, write your questions as well. Leave it for the discussion about WhatsApp group. We are right now with the platform. So use the platform and focus on this. Number one. Number two. The another three marks. The another three marks that is about. Onerous contract once again. Three marks. First of all, you have to put the knowledge. What is onerous contract? You know, onerous contract means where the company involved with the contract, which is unavoidable. To withdraw and the. Loss is expected to project. The contract where we cannot avoid and the loss is expected to project. Make a definition simple. This is the meaning first meaning of onerous contract. Then. What I 37 says for this honored contract. I 37 allowed for this. Onerous contract provision allow for the onerous contract provision. That's a point. And then put up the case here. Put up the case. Ecoma the leads represent onerous contract and make appropriate provision should be made. So that is over of the onerous contract. But if we are going to make the onerous contract provision what by what should be the measurement what should be the measurement if owners contract is identified provision must be recognized with the set best suitable estimate and the measurement is at lower of the unavoiding of the fulfilling cost net means whatever the cost you have to need to put. And if any termination charges means lower of means you have to identify all the option. Major at lower of means. Evaluate. And decide. The best option. Best option means having low cost. With the lowest cost. So two things fulfilling the contract if we are going to fulfill or termination. In this case, there is no information about the termination. There only one thing we have to complete our contract. So put up the lowest possible cost and this less. After the amount less. Any expected future benefit. Any do you uh, reply me here the case? What is the expected future benefit? Here the case. For subletting. Here the case for subletting. Yes, that is a point. 
Here the case of subletting. That is the point. Here the case of subletting. Okay, now the case. What we will do here that you will mention that discount rate should be pre tax. It depends on time that if you mention that, why? Because pre tax, it's reflecting the market assessment. Post tax means market assessment plus the company's own tax adjustment. But here, the not case about the company's adjustment, it's about the uh, only about the market assessment. This italic having no marks, you just mentioned the pretax, should make a provision with that that details. The unavoidable cost of onerous contract should be discounted to 30th September X4. X1 is this. Number one, you have to pay the lease rental. Lease rental present value. That is air one six hundred thousand, air two six hundred thousand. That's advance. No need to. No need for any time value adjustment. Air two yes time value adjustment one point zero five power one. And the amount equal to one one seven one is equal to present value. Sir, is this compulsory that this working is so on the spreadsheet? Not at all. Who says? Not at all. It's never ever mentioned anywhere with the exam document or the examiner expectation that you have to work out with a spreadsheet only. It's your wish. Moreover, this is unavoidable cost. But whatever the unavoidable cost, less. Less. The expected benefit. The expected benefit of subletting. And that is about we can sublet and get 400,000 advanced lease. Advance and the next another time 40% chance. This 40% is probability. And then once again, this one. So provision you can make about 1171429 minus benefit five factors. Then the provision for the onerous contract can be made on the this. And last, in addition. A provision of $1 million can be made for cost of moving directly attributable cost to new head office and it is felt that the cost is unavoidable. This is not about onerous contract. It's additional point in addition. Other than onerous. Another other than onerous. So the total provision is about. 1619048. That's all about the question. Related to provision. Candidates do reply me. Are you getting the point? How to handle the question accordingly? Ab about accounting standard. This is what about IAS 37 matter. This is what about IAS 37. Yes. The another important point, another important point that is about defined benefit pension scheme. Defined benefit pension scheme. Another point, ECOMA is worried that poor remuneration package offered to employees putting the company risk at the risk of reputational damage. Consequently, a coma changed its pension scheme 30th September X5 to include all its staff. So this is about pension scheme. Now pension includes defined benefit or defined contribution here mentioned defined benefit benefits accrue for their date of employment, but only vest after. Two years. 
change in pension plan. One word, one word you can use for the for this this point. Change in pension plan. Word one word. You can use first thing. You have to revise your slavers area. The first thing. You have to revise your slavers area. You have reviewed the IS 19. You have reviewed the IS 19, and now. The very important thing is that change the pension plan includes two components. Change in a positive manner that increase benefit to the employee or decrease. If something is about the increase, that is called past service cost. And if something decrease, that's called containment. It's a different part. It's a different part. It's a different part. So first of all, whenever you're reading the question, your basic basic accounting principle must be in your mind. During revision and in the examination as well. Can you please reply me if company announced something change or increase the benefits? Is this based on? The vesting period over. Two years is this based on vesting period over two years or immediately? If you participate, all of you even what? Mark my word. If I am saying that participate, you have to participate irrespectively right or wrong. Irrespectively right or wrong. <clears throat> Past service cost by IS 19 improvement plan vesting over the period or immediate. Accounting standard says that past service cost improvement recognition. It's not not related to. Eligibility. It's not related to vesting. That should be immediate. IS 19. Immediate. Immediate matter not not vested. No relationship with respect to vesting. That's a key point. Yes, very good. Additional services from 30th September expired. No worries about that. Someone answering right. Someone answer wrong. It's a it's a matter of the preparation. Now the net obligation net. Net obligation net obligation means. Plan obligation. It's a total liability plan asset is a total asset is equal to. Net. Net defined benefit obligation. At 30th September X5 of 78. Has been updated to include this change. During the year, the benefits 6 million were paid to the scheme. And ECOMA contributed 10 million to the scheme. These payments recorded in the financial statement in this manner. Are standing at 30th September X5. This is ending balance. This is ending balance. This is opening balance. Net. This is current service cost. And this is past service cost relating to amendment. Discount rate, two discount rate, 30th September X4 and 30th September X5 are standing at 30th September X5. Which discount rate we will use? We will use the 30th September X4 rate that will applicable to the complete year of X5. That will be applicable to the complete year of the X5. That is 5.5 percent. That is 5.5 percent. That is 5.5 percent. That is the key point. 
Now, what's the examiner requirement? Advise two things. Advise a coma on the principle, principle of accounting treatment for the pension. Need. So, including calculation. So that means that means the first requirement. It's not about. Uh, it's not accounting standard says discuss how provision should be work out, but here particularly mention the examiner. The you have to mention the principle of pension scheme. Principle, so that means you have to work out with the principle as well. You have to work out for the principle as well. The first thing is that. You have to mention the principle. Now come on. This is IS 19. What the marking scheme says. Marking scheme says explanation. Explanation about what? Principle. Four marks and calculation three marks. That's equal to seven marks. So you have to work out first thing is the principle. First thing is the principle of the working. You have to mention what's the principle according to IS 19 at at each financial aid. The reporting about DPP DPP the plan asset plan obligation are remeasured. And any remeasurement gain loss are recognized in OCI. So, first thing you have mentioned something about remeasurement, and you mentioned the PNL comprise com, com, comprises the service cost and net interest cost. These are the principle. You must mention the statement of PNL records change in plan asset. That is plan asset. PNL incorporate the changes. And the plan obligation. Except. Except contribution. And benefit paid. You people know that PNL not hitting the contribution and benefit paid. Why this happens? It's a part of regular studies. You can. If you are not getting the point about the contribution of benefit, you can ask me during break or uh, after the session. So the point is that these are the principle. What is the part of the uh, OCI? What is the part of PNL? Service costs and current service costs are the current service costs. Which is the increase in present value of defined benefit obligation resulting from employee service in the current and past service cost. That is what you discuss the principle. And now the case. Now the case. Ecoma past service cost are the changes in the present value of obligation DBL. Defined benefit liability net net obligation. Present value of net obligation net. In the prior period, which have resulted from the plan amendment and should recognize an expense. Moreover, the important point, no, moreover, these costs, important, these costs should not be recognized, sorry, should be recognized regardless of vesting requirement. Thus, past service cost 9 million will be recognized immediately. Means recognized in 30th September X5. Another point you have to mention that with respect to the measurement, this is measurement. And very important point you have to mention when to recognize. When to recognize. 
the past service cost to recognize the past service cost to be recognized to be recognized at the earlier of first falling dates at the earlier of falling dates number one is this the independent independent event it's my wording only huh? is this the independent event sorry yes is this the independent event or it's dependent on it's dependent on is 37 restructuring even but here it's not the case of the restructuring even maybe sometime plan amendment is a part of restructuring event but here not the case here it's a independent means there is no relationship of, de of defined benefit plan here no relationship here with respect to uh, restructuring and in fact the b about the dependency it's actually may it's actually happened where some curtailment occur change but negative change and here the here not the case about the curtailment so this is what about the case of defined benefit plan in the model answer this statement this statement is mentioned but what i personally think it's not necessary you can read by yourself i'm not the point here now the case now the case now the case the profit and loss will be charged to the net interest component 3.2 million and the service cost 27 service cost includes current service cost and the past service cost current service cost plus past service cost OCI credit to 1.2 million and this gain cannot be reclassified to PNL and the benefit paid no effect on the obligation and the obligation are reduced by 6 million and you can put out with this working sir is this working necessary to identify the remeasurement gain sir is this working with the word or the spreadsheet you can work out with the spreadsheet no issue at all You can work out with the spreadsheet, no work, no matter at all. That is the point. Now, this one is the question, and this question hit it to the performance measurement. Means examiner asks here. Examiner ask here, do let us know about this. Calculate the impact with above B1, B2 will have profit before tax to mil 25 million for the year and 30th September X4. In ignore tax implications. Here the examiner mentioned the profit before tax. Maybe examiner mentioned sometimes EPS. So that is the part of the performance measurement. You just pick the profit before tax. The profit before tax will suffer a profit available and ordinary shareholder reduced by number one. You have to incorporate onerous contract provision 1.6 million. That's hit it in the minus as above. Then net interest component. Net interest component. Net interest means interest cost minus expected return. You can refer above. Any problem you can ask me. Pass and service current service cost 27. All hit it negative. Here net interest cost is negative. It means interest cost higher than expected return. So this is these adjustments hit it to 
profit after tax in a minus manner, minus 31 point eight. So it means if the profit before tax is 25 million, and that will reduce by 31.8. Now the profit before tax increase the level to the loss loss before tax. Loss before tax. That is the point. Candidates, can you please reply me? Is this clear how to handle the question? I put my best effort accordingly with this part B. Can you please reply me? I'm waiting for the reply. That is the point. Yes, sir. This is the part. And what about the part B? Part B is about sustainable reporting importance why sustainable report importance and this is what the performance measurement pure theoretical area and importance you have to identify why it's important you have to refer your regular studies i will discuss i will have to discuss this sustainability matter but with latest exam question this is a comparatively old question, March 20. I will discuss with the 21 question. But with this, you can work out accordingly. Why it's important. Do remember that actually sustainable reporting, it's not about the IFRS matter. It's other than IFRS. Investor wants more reporting than IFRS. And one very important point that is called sustainable reporting. Sustainable means how company work for the sustainability of the environment, social responsibility and sustainability with the with terms of the governance. That's complete word called ECG. Why it's important? There are almost three to five areas for discussion. This is relevant. Why it's relevant? About sustainability, the business will develop more opportunities. That is relevant for investor. Whatever the valuation model for the valuation companies use have to incorporate sustainability matters. Based on sustainability, identify the risk opportunity, risk and reward matters. And the company's screening strategies means what they are getting from the environment and what they are paying to the environment so this these are actually something about theoretical aspect you can work out accordingly you can work out accordingly so that is what the first part of the today's session that's how to handle section b questions with the multi areas our next target it's to incorporate number one, the first, the latest exam question with this examiner report aspect. With this exam report analysis. So we will discuss June 21, March June 21 question. That's Colart company. But after the break. Lux, I cannot discuss right now about the valuation model. You can refer IFRS 13 accordingly. You can refer IS 13, IFRS 13 accordingly. That is the point. Okay, candidates, is that clear? What is the point here? Now we will move to the another question, but after the break, take a five to seven minute break, seven minutes break, then we will discuss accordingly. Seven minutes break, break time.
if you have any question you can ask me during the break Yes, with the ECG, sustainable reporting, integrated reporting is one of the way for the ESG, for the sake of ESG. It's one of the way. I strongly suggest that for uh, this purpose, you people have to uh, read some articles. These are the articles like sustainable reporting matters integrated reporting framework you must have to work out but first have to refer the your uh, uh, study back and then work out accordingly any any other question otherwise take a break You can coordinate me with my WhatsApp number double zero nine two three two one. This is what my number. If anybody have any issue to join the WhatsApp group, don't worry. Not necessary. Aishan, what I personally think, I don't know exactly about your preparation status, but I, if you are comfortable with the accounting standard knowledge, don't read the article for the account, article of accounting standards. I don't suggest to read article of the about the accounting standard. But for um, performance measurement issues, you can read it. For section E, the you can read it. And okay, I will um, tell you about that. What, um, but tomorrow session, what accounting standard you should read? Don't worry. For the accounting standard, I never suggest. But for performance measurement and these one change in accounting regulations, you can work out accordingly. Anyone have any more question you can ask me during break?
<coughs> we discussed the ethical matter, Umar. Umar, we discussed the ethical matter yesterday. Uh, you can watch uh, the day two session and you will easily identify the marks allocations. And purely the ethical matter includes seven marks or eight marks. Examiner particular mentioned, but ethics, how to handle the ethics, that also incorporates two marks. And about the accounting issues, it's very clearly identified with the requirements. So why you are confused, I, I'm not getting the point, but you have to watch uh, the day two videos, you can identify easily. Okay, now we are going to start the session by next one minute. Be ready. Actually, every subject has its own dimension. And students, even SBR, and I also conduct the AFM as well. Students, um, uh, the f actual reason of the failure is it's not majority about the lack of knowledge. It's not majority about how to handle the exam. So what, whenever I teach or uh, suggest students for the finance for the subject SBR, FM or AFM, um, I strongly suggest and advise to develop the right strategy and put your qualitative efforts, not just quantitative. I'm not sure of exactly about the mock exams and like this, but it's not the part of the P2P. You can coordinate after the P2P for the SBR subject mock or AFM subject mock after the P2P. For one account anywhere in the paper, Umar, anywhere in the paper for any particular one accounting issue, examiner particular mention here, either ethics or either other part. For example, here for IS 37, the examiner asked the things accordingly, uh, the marks, six marks. Okay. For example, this one is the case that we discussed here. Here examiner mentioned categorically the marking scheme. The seven marks for IS 19 and six marks for IS. Six marks IS 37, seven marks for this. Now start for the next session. Can you please reply me with full of energy with all energetic session? Are you people? With me, are you people? Uh, please show me your presence on the WhatsApp. Are you ready? Come on. Oh, you must be very much energetic once again. Needs energy, motivation for the exam. Now, another challenge. Now another challenge. Another important challenge that we need to consider here. Now another important channel. Come on, come on. With respect to the second phase of the session, second phase of the session. So once again, what's the today's agenda? Today's agenda is that how to handle section B exam questions. So section B exam questions that examiner integrate the topic of the accounting standard with the performance measurement with the conceptual framework and the current developments. So 
and it's totally unpredictable how we will handle the thing. So the very first thing uh, about that when before the examination, before the examination, during the revision sessions for next two or three weeks, what you people should do? You must ask yourself that you have good enough knowledge of the syllabus. Number two, apply the knowledge of the particular exam questions with the CB format. Knowledge plus application is equal to experience and go for that. That's point. So another challenge we need to discuss here. For example, this is what about the latest exam question? Latest exam question. And recently the observation or analysis with the past paper is that examiner examined. It's a norm that examined one question with the multi areas that performance measurement and accounting standard. But nowadays since last two semester last three semesters examiner examined multi accounting issues in one stand in one question for example the march 20 was the question of ecoma that examiner examined two accounting standard but here a question for examiner examined five five to six five to six exam uh, accounting standard areas for example non current asset derecognition that is about something is 16 and something about is 36 as well so first thing decommissioning matter that is something about is 37 is 16 is 36 is 37 here government grant is 20 here hedge ifrs 9 here about contingent asset is 37 one question with multi accounting standard issue and is 36 impairment indicator as well this b part So what I must say that if you are facing this type of question, so I must say that relax, be relaxed. And just get rid from the fear. And the people who understand the Urdu, that's called our prime minister says that gabrana nahi hai. I mean that <laughs> fearless working. That's the point. If some of the thing in front of you, if some of the examination, some of the exam question in front of you, there is no choice. There is no choice at, during the examination except that you have to fight. So energy required to fight the matter. Number two, always plan for the worst. So during these days, for next two to three weeks. Always practice the question with this difficult with these type of difficult situation. So get the experience to handle the things that's difficult. So when you are sitting in the examination hall, uh, you will be able to handle the difficult aspects. So now come on. This is what about the question. This is what about the question. Yes, this is the question. That is March, June 2021, and that is the question number four. That is the question number four. Non current asset, other natural disaster consequences requirement and that is what requirement that is what the requirement so can you please people reply me are you people with me 
your rep reply response is critical for me. If you need motivation, I also need motivation. If you are not interacting with me, that's how I, I understand that point. Are uh, you people understanding the point? That's an important point. No? So be interactive with me. You have to communicate with me time by time by questioning, by saying yes and like this. That's important. OK, come on. So the very first thing. Make, first of all, you have to read the uh, background. Uh, background. Collard company manufacture aluminum products and operates in the region that suffered natural disaster on 1st November X7. Okay. So aluminum products and suffered natural disaster. There has been an increase in operating costs, increase in operating costs as a company had to replace regional supplier with uh, a more costly international supplier. Okay, they are going to change uh, some operating cost matter. The air end, the air end 31st December X7. The following exhibits allow available on the left hand side screen provide information relevant to the question. These are the matters and the non-current asset provide information about non-current asset destroyed by the natural disaster including the effect on the decommissioning of power plant other natural disaster consequences describe the potential cost of repairing the environmental damage and associated government compensation nature of hedge against the commodity price in aluminium and potential insurance policy procedures okay so Accounting standard 16, 36, 37, and also IFRS 9. Everything is important. Nothing that standard you can say that these are small and uh, less important. Other are uh, more important like this. Every standard has has uh, has importance. Huh? So you cannot take any standard that's before granted. The information should be used to answer the question requirement and response. The options provided. That's the point. Okay, before entering in detail, the material of the matter, the material, that's the material. Before entering this, you have to read the requirement first. Uh, the first thing, the first thing, the first thing is about sustainability and mention that. There is no requirement to refer any exhibit. Only four marks. But professional marks awarded for clarity, quality, discussion, that's two marks. Yes, this is what about the knowledge base, just knowledge, knowledge. And this is what about why sustainability important. Number two, B, discuss any events affecting Collard which might indicate that impairment tests out to be conducted according to IS-36, three marks. So very important thing, what I said earlier and I regularly say to my students that reading of the requirement is also an art. Try to learn that art. So how to learn? <laughs> practicing the question. The important thing is that read the requirement and identify what exactly examiner asked to you. What exactly examiner asked to you? That's a key point. What exactly examiner asked to you? That's a key point. So number one, discuss any events affecting call out company might indicate that impairment has out to be conducted according to IS-36. So here the question is about that. Discuss the event that might indicate impairment test. So very first thing, if I say that if you are practicing the question, number one, 
you people have a knowledge knowledge of what you said if i is 36 i am going to attempt with i is 36 i must have a good knowledge of i is 36 what knowledge very what very first thing about the i 36 can you please reply me yes the very first thing is indicators that is internal and external so always always the impairment based on indicators number one then impairment test you have a good knowledge about the impairment test and with all the spec impairment test you must have to know how to calculate the carrying amount how to calculate the recoverable amount with respect to recoverable amount fair value less cost to sell so you have a good command about the fair value that related to ifrs 13 then value in use that is called recoverable amount which is so called higher of higher of what you must have to aware aware that sorry value in use which means present value future cash flow and we discussed earlier about that what's up important point for the present value always use discount rate that's important pre-tax and another point projected cash flows the projected cash flows includes budgets and extrapolation then you have to work out about that impairment accounting how to book the impairment loss if any revalued asset matter then incorporate the thing accordingly then the concept about the cgu cash generating unit you have the good knowledge of the cgu you must have to know uh, the definition definition of the cgu and then cases about the CGU impairment calculation for CGUs how to calculate the impairment calculation that means carrying amount versus recoverable amount the carrying amount of net asset including the liability that's the first session recoverable amount of the net asset including the liabilities and then allocation matter allocation number one is specific damage if any if any then goodwill then other asset pro rata other asset pro rata basis that's important but be careful be cautious that uh, no asset reduce their value le lower than its realizable value that's an important point so if you are going to attempt this question impairment matter you have made a quick review maybe you have already done this but maybe you required it then another point discuss how the following should be accounted for financial statement 31 december x7 that's the c requirement 
destruction of non current asset and decommissioning of power plant. Destruction of non current asset, destruction and decommissioning of power plant. I must say about that, you must have a good knowledge of the I 16. I'm not going to re revise the I 16 matter right now. But here the specific case. If some of the non current asset destroyed. So there will be discussion. Discussion. Between discussion between what? Right off. Or. Impairment. Moreover, we made add initial recognition. We made provision for decommissioning cost. And there are two impacts. Means asset debit asset and credit provision but the point is that if the time comes if the time comes for utilize it for utilizing that provision that what we should do if the time comes for utilization of the provision, then what we should do? That means utilization of the provision. Or what if we made the provision over 20 years time that at initial recognition, the estimated life 20 years. But after 10 or 12 years, some incident occur where the life becomes shrink, become reduced. So our provision value must have to change. So this change will impact on the asset value. Yes or no? That's a key point. That is the key point. That is the key point. Okay. Cost of repairing the environmental damage. Environmental damage. And potential receipt of government compensation. What is this government compensation? What is the government compensation? What is the accounting standard about? Yes, IS 20 government grants. Number one, you must have to over grants is different comparison. With assistance. Grant reporting. Has a deferred income. Or adjust. The cost. With. Asset value. But the important point is that. Important point is that evaluation, evaluate, or I must say, assess whether government grant when to account for government grant. The first question is that when to account for government grant. The second question is that how to report. The second question is that how to report. So these are the aspects. You must have to aware that yes, do I have the knowledge or not? Next hedge for commodity price in aluminium. So important point. These are the basic standards 1636, but either but here something big. IFRS 9. 
I am not discussing right now the complete scenario. IFRS 9 hedge accounting. IFRS 9 hedge accounting. Number one, the conditions for hedge accounting. The conditions must be called fully documents. The head. Head item and instrument. Number one. Documented. Number two, relationship. Means the correlation. Relationship is correlation. If head item moves negative, means it's if we are getting loss from head item, head instrument will protect. And head efficiency. You have to recall for this. Head accounting. Number two. Hedge accounting category. Number one. You remember that? Can you please someone guide me here? And you are with me. Hedge accounting category. What's the category of hedge accounting? Number one, fair value hedge. What is the accounting of the fair value hedge? Hedge item and hedge instrument must must have same accounting. That's called elimination of mismatch. Elimination of mismatch. You have to eliminate the mismatch. That's very important. Elimination of mismatch. Ideally, the accounting is fair value, PNL, but exception, one ex only one exception for fair value OCI. Only one exception. Fair value OCI. And what that exception? If head item is about financial asset fair value through OCI, that's irrevocable election. That is fair value hedge. Another point is cash flow hedge. Another point is cash flow hedge. Cash flow hedge. Initial reporting. With hedge item only. With sorry, initial reporting with hedge instrument only. By fair value, someone say. Fair value PNL or OCI? Someone say fair value PNL OCI. Someone say reply OCI PNL. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fair value OCI. No depend. No depends. Sadra, no depends. It's always fair value through OCI. And any fair value movement that is the part of OCE cash to hedge reserve. Moreover, another accounting after recognition of hedge item, but do remember that one another important point about this.
one important point this fair value has for for fair value protection sorry for recognize has item or firm commitment but on the other end this cash to hedge is about probable future probable transaction future probable transaction cash flow has always about something for example if I, the board meeting has decided to purchase the machine after the year end and for this the machine it's going to purchase through import so we have some risk for the fluctuation of foreign currency and for this future probable transaction we have entered with hedge instrument of the future derivatives forward derivatives that is future probable transaction that's important that's important but what if this is what a quick overview of hedge accounting but one important thing this continuation of hedge accounting discontinuation of hedge accounting there are certain condition about the discontinuation for example no more hedge effectiveness for for example highly probable with cash flow hedge transaction it's no more probable for any reason then we have to discontinue the hedge accounting but the question is that what to do the fair value adjustment already made with oci to equity with equity oce by the name cash flow hedge reserve the answer i will make with that particular question but the point is that whenever you are entering with any topic with the question you must have to aware that have i already revised that matter not first have to make review if you already done that's good go for this now it's time for the question but before that one important point insurance policy proceeds insurance policy proceeds that is something about is 37 that's called contingent asset there is a concept of is 37 called contingent liability contingent asset virtual certain asset and an example about insurance insurance claim huh? claim should we consider insurance claim as contingent asset or as virtual certain asset depends on the contract we made depends the contract we made 
So this is what about the case? This is what about the case? Candidates, can you please reply me? Even you watching the video, you must have to ask any question with me. Today is 17th of November. Your exam will be held on 9th of December. You have three weeks. The first condition, how to utilize that three weeks is honesty. The umbrella is honesty. Under the honesty, I have the objective is honesty. And I'm going right now to uh, giving you the right strategy to meet the objective. To meet the objective. So this is the right way. I know that this path is difficult, but this path is actually the right path towards success. And this is the quality to pay. That's why I strongly suggest you only two things for the success. Number one, your syllabus, good enough knowledge syllabus. Number two, pass paper. I don't suggest any revision code for the SBR. So, can you please reply me with full energetic that are you getting the point what I'm saying to you that are you getting the conditions? If you are not, if you are not able to get the things from my side, you just say bluntly, no, sir, uh, we are not getting what you are saying that how it's possible to work out. Hello, are you hearing me? Oh, that's good. So you people also start communication on the WhatsApp group as well. <laughs> okay, okay. That's good. Now it's time for the question. Come on. Now it's time for the question. What is the point? One by one. The first thing. The first thing is about sustainability. Investor need to understand a variety of factor when investment decision. First thing, okay. The nature of the companies, for example, you are investor. Uh, here you must have to answer with the viewpoint of investor. Let's suppose here you are investor. Huh? The nature when you are going to invest. Said that's investment decision. Multiple factor you need to consider. Nature of companies in which they are looking to invest is an important consideration. For example, manufacturing sector, the car industry. As this need to incorporate sustainability factor. Whenever you are going to invest in a company, you not just focus about the financial statement that is based on past. You are also very much concerned about what is the sustainability of this business. And the sustainability includes a lot of factors. The survival of the company. The survival of the industry, the survival of the company is based on survival of industry. Survival of industry is based on survival of economy. The economy is based on environment. So a lot of things are interconnected. So discuss why sustainability become an important aspect of the investor analysis of the companies. No requirement exhibit. That's four marks and two marks. The very first thing I wanted to uh, discuss here. That's what examiner is expecting here. That what examiner is expecting here. With your answer. Yes, come on. The very first thing. 
the question is start four marks a to discuss why sustainability is important to investor analysis sustainability and investor it was clear stated that no need to refer scenario in this question so be aware and most answer followed that guys that's referring to the scenario scenario number one risk answering subsequent part of the question so it is recommended candidate to use advice and stick to general discussion candidate used to advise and stick general discussion better answer that's important better answer focus investor perspective not the company perspective so your tone must be investor and how sustainability information enhance quantitative financial statement fewer answer means what is student done or what considered how sustainability information can be used to rank or rate potential investment or be deciding factor otherwise identical investment means normally the student ignore these points okay, what is the importance of information how this impact with the investment and how it's impact to the decision factor so number one the most important thing is a generic answer it's not compulsory if something i'm sharing with you for example i'm sharing with you about this just a minute Yes, this one. Yes. If I'm sharing this one, four marks question. This one is a question. That's the very first thing. That's intro. Introduction. Introduction. It's not any concrete material. Rather than just uh, make a momentum. For example, this one sustainability become increasing crucial aspect of investing. This is not any knowledge. This is just momentum. There is growing recognition. That's growing recognition means now and die now now on the days that we uh, in, in an environment it's recognizing that sustainability have a significant impact on the financial performance. Investors are increasingly integrating the consideration of sustainability issues with the decision making. This first paragraph is no knowledge. It's all about what whatever examiner ask with this paragraph. Just re rearrange the words. Yes, it is important. Nowadays, investors are actually integrate this information with the decision making if you really want to get this two marks you have you it's not possible to start now it's main course you can if you really want to get the professional marks you have to start with this like this then main course for example why 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 it is important why important your tone if you get full professional marks your tone must be investor point of view investor point of view for example investor wants trust credibility they want to reduce risk. They want to know where I'm going to invest in a company. What is the appetite of the product? Appetite means sustainability of the products in the market. Consider they know that the sustainability is is differ from sector to sector, industry to industry. And whenever you are working, whenever you are uh, saying about something important, 
you have to consider that the importance is that if a company it's not very much concerned and not preparing a report about sustainability they will attract less investment they will attract less investment so whenever you are saying something uh, sorry whenever you are writing something about importance so one way about the importance that what if we are not doing if we are not doing then we are catching lower investment attracting lower investment so automatically the point is important to uh, report that is a point so first thing is this candidates can you please reply me or getting the point how to get two marks you will get from the ethics side two marks you will get section b the performance measurement area that's how to handle this we discussed today accounting matter we discussed today the multi standards matter performance measurement issues these are the aspects how to handle the things now next one professional marks will be awarded oh sorry b part discuss any events affecting coal coal ad which might indicate impairment how to be conducted in accordance with is 36 three marks three marks particularly mention here examiner not mention that first discuss the principle and then mention with the collard so here with the three marks for example for example if i am going to write the answer in this manner we are discussing how to manage the time first i i know that this is i 37 impairment conditions sir first sir number 1 we will provide the knowledge then connect if you are doing this much believe me you will definitely cross your time limit for three marks for three marks you will only 1.8 that is 5.4 it's not possible to to think both in in a separate manner you have to squeeze your answer because you have already spent 1 minute for planning you have only 4 minutes squeeze your answer or decorate your answer with both elements at same discussion means you have to write your answer in a may in a way where you discuss the knowledge aspect and also connect with the case and do remember do remember here examiner particularly mention even affecting collard which indicate impairment test don't incorporate any of the impairment indicator that that's outside the case so this will also this may also impact this may also impact no whatever examiner ask you just write the answer accordingly only the impairment indicator matters related to this case now also the case uh, about that here clear point is that it's a natural disaster a share price declined non current asset destroyed decline in customer demand all these points non current asset that destroyed carrying amount 250 million this is the another point 
that's accounting issue another accounting issue fair value of this 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 independent determine that problem all these matters but first this come on number one what examiner says here discuss even collard my indicate impairment to be conducted according with i36 in part b candidate were asked to discuss the events within the scenario events within the scenario which indicate impairment as three marks this part well answered there were a number of events within the scenario it could have been used to illustrate the need most candidates scored full marks by identify explaining the importance of three ex, uh, for three key in external indicators a fall in demand fall in share price and implication of storm damage that's a customer a number of customer increases this is what about the answer matter now it's time how to write it sir what's the actual solution can you please share up with us yes sure this is your property don't worry this is what the question now come on this one is the answer for the three marks if collard company determines that even resulting from natural disaster had triggered the indicators impairment test must perform according to i36 the respective acid or cash generating unit so you are actually writing the answer indulging the uh, knowledge aspect as well in this instance decline in customer demand number one decline in customer demand has taken place because of damage and reputation resulting from disaster number one also the share price has declined which again may indicate that the carrying amount of the net asset higher than the market capitalization finally damage to the manufacturing facility is a direct indicator increase in the operating cost resulting from replacement of supplier and region within the international supplier the increased cost is an indicator of impairment depends on significance and duration this is the extra point this is not examiner expectation that increased cost indicator of impairment depends on significance and duration of expected change short term temporary disruption are not necessarily indicator of the impairment of long term use of life what i suggest if you don't mention this line no worries also model answer mentioned but not the expectation as a result the above impairment the impairment test must be performed according to rice 36 yes this is important final wordings candidates this is what how to craft the answer this is what how to craft your answer accordingly this is the point no 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 bullet points i don't suggest here you can use the bullets but not the all answer these are the indicators otherwise if you are working with the three marks three to four two to three points well explained points it's not about the bullet if you feel that something is required in the bullet that's another point otherwise not once again three marks but here more than three points first paragraph then three points then conclude this is called crafts uh, so, uh, sorry this is called preciseness sometime for three points so three marks you have to write more than three points so what you people say should we move for the more or not not like this
should we move for another point or not is this valuable for you <laughs> no no if it's not valuable then leave this point how to account for with the financial statement 34 december x1 okay now for this last part of the question take up uh, i suggest that um, this required more energy take a short break of four to five minutes a short break four to four three to four minutes a very short break for the two to three minutes then we will move forward okay short a short break five minutes break
Okay, come on. Okay, can you please reply me about your presence? Come on. Okay, so next part about this. point is that how should we accounted for the financial statement here ended 31st December 7 the one by one destruction of non current asset and decommissioning of the power plant then cost of repairing environmental damage and potential received of a government compensation which of commodity price insurance proceeds so where where are these Okay, this one. Come on. One by one. Other natural disaster consequences. Other consequences, huh? Number one, environmental damage and government compensation. First thing. Collard company hasn't passed repaired minor environmental damage. Okay, it, this is about past. Huh? Do remember then uh, you have a background of that the company suffered a natural disaster on 1st November X7 and the air and 31st December X7 and the air and 31st December X7. They have already suffered first number X7. And what they said here in the past repaired minor environmental damage that it has caused, but it has never suffered, never suffered natural disaster on this scale. So something happened in the past. And they repair the minor environmental damage. There is no legal obligation to repair restore damage caused by disaster. But do remember they have done in the past. So it's not about the legal, but something, something, something about. Can you add by the words? Can they, can can you add the word? Not the legal obligation, but something may be possible. Yes, 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 yes. That's good. Constructive. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely right. As this will be the responsibility of the government. As this will be the responsibility of the government. The government announced. The government announced. The government announced. Another point. First December X7. First December. That's before the uh, air end. They would compensate between compensation of 50 million available to repair environmental damage only. And that company should apply the compensation. Apply, apply. 31st December X7. 31st December X7. By 1st March X8. This is what? After a year. Financial statement were approved. Had only acknowledged receive acknowledgement of the application but no approval okay this is something about uh, the point uh, the compensations the grants government grant so is it possible to uh, work out with the grant or not that we will consider then the next point is the hedge then the next point of the insurance policy, but it's not the uh, right time to discuss this point. But first two paragraph, once again, the requirement. 
discuss how following accounting issues with the destruction of non current asset and decommissioning of power plant. Four marks. So, about the destruction of the non current asset, what you will say? And something decommissioning of the power plant. Do remember that power plant, it's a huge plant. And plant includes one non current asset. Plant include one non current asset. That's important point here. And one important thing related to this paragraph as well. This this particular paragraph here. The first one. That's initially we read the non current asset. Listen here non current asset of call art land current assets one of the part that were destroyed have a carrying amount of 250 million. 31st October X7. 31st October X7 means before the natural disaster. Okay. So one of the non current assets that destroyed. So the very important point is that decommissioning power plant is a huge one, but one of the assets destroyed. And the fair value of non current asset 280 million based on independent appraisal shortly before that date. Fair value. Shortly before that date. In addition, Collard determined that power plant will be closed. That's power plant will be closed and decommissioned early. As expected. But do remember that non current asset another, but a complete power plant issue is another. The remaining useful life of power plant reduced from 25 to 8 years. Non current asset are valued using the cost model. Once again, 2 things we have to consider. The first one, destruction of non current asset. Number 2, decommissioning. That's in good 4 marks. So we will cover up 2 things independently. Moreover, cost of repairing environment damage. And received that is government grant. Two things we will discuss here. So, number one, destruction of non current asset. If something about destruction of non current asset, that means it's totally destroyed. It's totally destroyed. So, what you will say that as a result of natural disaster, non current asset destroyed. So, what do you say? What one word you will say about the destroyed in the accounting? No, no, I'm not talking about the decommission. Right now I'm talking about destroyed. Word one word. Write off carrying amount become nil. D recognize. Removed. Very good. So this is I 16 matter. Write off. D recognize. It's not about impairment. Impairment is something about is still in use, but future benefit reduce. That is the critical point. Now come on. Now come on. First, we are working with that particular point. Discussion for the four events. Each was awarded four marks. So time spent each time should have been allocated evenly. That's important. Time management. Doing so may help in your time management. This question often the last attempted and therefore many time constraints. Therefore time may be constrained. Okay. If this one is the fourth question, maybe you have already exhausted with the time. 
For example, C1, two issues were raised. Logically, each earning two marks. Number one, destruction of asset. And decommissioning of power plant. However, generally answer was good. Some incorrectly suggested impairing the destroyer asset. Which was irrelevant since there was no value in use, no selling price. That's the first thing. So first point, what we will write, sir. What we will write. Destruction non-current asset, de-recognized asset as opposed to an impairment. There will be no economic benefit, future economic benefit or disposal. Therefore, 250 million should would be de-recognized. The entry will be PNL debit non-current asset credit. The very first thing. The another point. The another point. What about the another point? The another point is about. The power plant have to be closed and decommissioned earlier than expected. And the remaining live power plant 25 to 8 years. What are the matters to consider here? The complete plant life become reduced. Life become reduced. Come on, next. Decommissioning costs were often correctly identified as provision. Also, some answer failed to discuss how provision could be added to the carrying of asset once obligation arise on commencement. Most answer picked up to need change depreciation prospective adjustment. Yes. And fewer recognize depreciation, fewer adjustment. Fewer recognize that impact of shorter life present value of decommissioning liability. Now, what's the answer? The very important thing. One by one. As regards decommissioning power plant, I-37 requires liability recognized as soon as obligation, which will normally be commencement date. So decommissioning liability recognized at what date? Commencement of operation. That's the point. Similarly, IS 16 requires that initial cost of property plan equipment include estimate of the amount of cost of dismantle and remove is recorded. Means initial cost of property plan equipment includes this decommissioning cost. Yes or no? Number one, as regard the change in useful life, now the point is change in useful life. What will be the impact? Number one, the present value of decommissioning liability will increase. Do you agree that? If time become reduced, that means present value become increases. Because the shorter period over the cash flow are discounted. This will also add to the carrying amount. If present value increase, add to the carrying amount asset. This is amazing for you. This is something amazing. A number of years ago, we have already add on the cost of the decommissioning cost. But if it's become changed, the life become changed. And we were uh, before the natural disaster, we have been reversing the provision by sorry. We have been we have been doing the unwinding of discount that charge to PNL finance cost. But here. But here. If life becomes squeezed. 
provision increase that's at that particular time we have to add on the cost of the asset and after that definitely this will happen the remaining carrying amount is depreciately prospectively over the following eight years That is the point. That is the point. So once this is the point, how to write that particular answer? I hope that is clear to you people. I know that that's a tricky last part. It's tricky, but once again, if something happened wrong with you, no matter it is. The sequence of the answer, it's uh, important and you will get the marks, except this one, whatever you will do wrong. Moreover, another point. This one, environmental damage and government reputation. These are two different issues. Number one, the yellow one, it's about the provision. And number two, about government, government grants. How much the, once again, the marks relate to the four cost of repairing environmental damage and potential receive of the composition. Two marks, two marks. Once again, now, First, read the solution. Number one, IS 37. Collard has in past put a minor environmental damage, which caused it and never been involved in natural disaster in scale, so no legal obligation. Number one. Then you refer what is the meaning of constructive obligation. This is what definition. And then put the thing in a case because in this scenario, you would have enough time to write the things in a separate manner. You have indulged the things simultaneously. And one important point always incorporate, don't forget to incorporate the name of the company. That reflects like you have connected with the case. In this case, entity has not indicated other parties that it will accept certain reports responsibility and has reserved not created valid expectation. IS 37, a provision should be recognized only their present obligation on the past. The future expected cost will not meet the definition, no legal nor constructive. Maybe your answer at this point become wrong. Maybe you mentioned that uh, have to create, we have created the expectation for the liability. No worries about that, keep moving. The future expected cost not meet the definition of provision and no legal constructor. In this case of natural disaster, collard is not a fault and therefore will not be ob not obligation to correct the environmental damage to put the right by the government. That is about IES 37. For two marks, how to think in the how you your mind will work in the examination i have to mention i 37 for two marks for two marks i have to clear is this the legal or constructive obligation yes or no so a little bit reference of the constructive obligation then move on with the case then here the case the company uh, facing the uh, environmental damage which is very substantial and based on previous minor environmental damages it's not reflecting the complete constructive obligation. So no constructive obligation here. So two complete, you must have to develop mind. I have to write two points. 
about the obligation and connect with the case yes or no for the obligation and write it accordingly for two complete points sorry for two marks two precise points for is 20 come on government grant no need to mention the complete name a bigger name is accounting for government grant disclosure no no is 20 that's all states that government grants recognize only when there is reasonable assurance that entity will comply with any condition attached to the grant and grant will be received that is the point a grant receivable as financial support should be recognized as income in the period in which it is receivable okay in this case collard has only only acknowledge of its anticipation anticipation at first smart exit i think that examiner not expecting something about is 10 here because we have only two marks if this is the question about five marks then you can refer and therefore no reasonable assurance that grant will receive Further, it is not probable that government grant will receive. It should not be disclosed in the financial statement. So, at air end, condition exists for I S N, but after the air end, before publication, no more information received about that. I'm not reading the because the time is limited. I'm not reading exactly uh, the examiner report. You can read it accordingly. But what about the hedging? Hedge of commodity price. Case. Yes, you tell me about the thing hedge. Collard company hedge commodity price risk in aluminium and such transaction was classified highly probable. What you will say is that the cash to hedge or fair value hedge? Fair value hedge is actually about to protect the fair value as any recognized asset or liability or firm commitment. Sidra, what you are saying? It's mentioned commodity price risk in aluminum aluminum such transaction were classified highly probable. You have to think your answer. This is not about the fair value. It's about the cash to hedge. Lux, it's about cash to hedge. Fair value specifically about for the fair value movement. Here examiner mentioned hedge commodity price risk in aluminum. And such transaction classified highly probable. So commodity price doesn't mean here they used to purchase the commodity that's aluminium. In accordance to IFRS 9, however, the purchase which were considered highly probable, and do remember, never use the term highly probable with fair value hedge. The firm commitment is more than highly probable. The highly probable term used for cash flow hedge only. However, the purchase were considered highly probable prior to natural disaster that is no longer expected to occur. So what you will say? What is the complete case? Here the case of cash flow hedge and the transaction were probable before the natural disaster. But after the natural disaster, Transaction is no more probable. Lux, who said that fair value hedge price is keyword? Nothing is mentioned in the accounting standard. You are wrong at that time. Who says that price means if I am going to say you that Lux, I am going to purchase, I am going to import my material. Uh, from the imported uh, from the international market and I have a risk that the price will increase in the uh, uh, international market and I have to pay the extra cash. So is this about the fair value hedge? 
No. If I'm going to purchase some machine that's imported and the price in the imported value become increases, I have a fair factor to pay more cash. That's cash flow hatching. No, 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 no. So rectify your mistakes. Okay. Now, what is the answer? Number one, number one, what examiner requirement here? Hatch of commodity price in aluminium. Prior to the disaster, the hedge commodity price is ammonium. Such transaction continue, constitute highly probable. And hedge transaction is cash flow under IFRS 9. First, you are clarified that it's hedge. However, the purchase which were considered highly probable to the natural disaster are now expected to occur. Colart company should follow hedge accounting principle up till date of natural disaster, they should now cease hedge accounting. Cease. So number one, cash flow hedge. Number one, cash flow hedge. Number two, cease of hedge. Number two, if it cease, then what's accounting? As the forecast transaction no longer expected to occur, Collard should reclassify accumulated gain or loss hedge instrument from other comprehensive income to PNL as a classified adjustment. So important point is that important point is that if I am going to write the answer. How will get I will get two marks? For this, for two marks, three points are important. The completeness occur when I will park the discussion first cash to hedge. Number two, seize, seize the hedge accounting. Number three, in this accounting, the reclassification matter. These are the relevant points. So first prepare your mind what to write that's planning. Then start writing accordingly. What examiner says here? What examiner says here? C3 required discussion over the treatment of the hedge commodity. The Part this part of often the latest well le, sorry least well answer and the shortest despite also having four marks available. Sorry, in this scenario, not the two marks, yeah, the four marks, four marks. Sorry, I take my words back. That's not the two marks, four marks. Which most answers correctly suggested de recognition of hedge. But further knowledge of correct hedge account, knowledge of correct hedge accounting was weak. Do you know that why is this hedge accounting weak? Because in the past paper, majority examiner examined the treatment of fair value in cash flow hedge, and the here examiner first time examined since the history of the 15 years. I have been teaching of the this subject since 15 years, including P2 and SBR, then SBR. First time examiner examined here the C's of hedge accounting. But student prepared the account, prepared, make the, make the preparation through a revision cut where no question about C's. But if, if the students were honest and prepared with the good enough knowledge of entire syllabus, then that student, fewer students. Attempted, attempted the question correctly. Answer were overlooked the accounting treatment prior to the disaster and after disaster. Overlooked and, uh, and after de recognition. An accumulated gain would need reclassifying from OCI to PNL. That is the point. Candidates, time is over now. 
and uh, one last part remaining. So you people already have the question and the examiner report. You can work out accordingly. So that is what I can do for you uh, related to this point. Uh, I've, you know very well that. What was the agenda of the today's session? How to handle this 25 marks question section B part question? And that is what the agenda. Can you please reply me on the WhatsApp group or and the platform that? How how the valuable today's session for you? Have we met the agenda? Of the today's session and is this? Really helpful for you? About this inshallah for next two days we will discuss about uh, group accounts matter with section A and section B as well. A little bit about uh, conceptual framework and the current issues as well. And uh, I strongly suggest to you people that if you feel if you feel that these sessions are valuable for you, spread spread the word of mouth to the other students that that watch my recordings about this. Watch my recording about this. Because these sessions will definitely give valuable. If you uh, implement these advices um, for um, <clears throat> about um, for the next remaining three weeks, that is the point. You can get maximum marks. You can get maximum marks. You can get maximum marks, don't worry. <laughs> okay, candidates, if you have any question from my side, you can ask me and uh, session is over from my side. Thank you very much. I will share once again these documents to you on the WhatsApp group as well. We will meet tomorrow at the same time with the group accounts and many more matters. What do you mean by list of formula? You can refer from the Kaplan book or the BPPS from the static as simple or the formula. <laughs> Condense, summarize notes. It's not the part of the practice to pass. I'm sorry for this. Yes, definitely. If any question you can ask me on the WhatsApp group and I strongly suggest that you have to spread the word of mouth and the WhatsApp group link to other people to join these WhatsApp group that will be beneficial for you.
ओके आई विल शेयर डोंट वारिंग ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच टेक केयर अलॉट असलाइकुम इट्स ओवर फ्रॉम माई साइड